I'm Valerie, and it's been a little while. Uh, things are very strange right now. I'm not going to get into that too much in this video. I think we've all had enough of it. What I am going to do is distract you with something very, very pretty. Enchanted Living, the publication formerly known as Fairy Magazine, is one of the, always one of the best visual experiences you can have in your hot little hands. This is their Pre-Raphaelite issue, which I have been eagerly awaiting ever since I heard it announced. And that was before I knew that Emily Autumn, of whom I am a great big fan, was going to be their cover girl. Uh, there is a lovely feature in here with Emily and Veronica Varlow, her partner in crime and in art and in friendship and all of that, who was actually a reg regular uh, columnist for the magazine. Uh, there's a big feature with the two of them recreating some of the just most wonderful paintings. It's exquisitely photographed. There's a great interview with Emily. There's just, this thing is just full, chock full of wonderfulness. There is, I think possibly my favorite thing actually, is very early on, How to Be a 21st Century Pre-Raphaelite Woman by Grace Newth, who is a senior editor of Enchanted Living and whose blog I started following, oh, gotta be 12 or 13 years ago now. Um, and the thing that I love about this is it's not just things that you can do if you're comfortable wearing velvet out every day or if you're ready to spend a lot of money to surround yourself with things. It's little things. It's, you know, uh, wear your hair long and rebelliously loose at 20 or 80 or short and spikily defiant. Express your own style however feels best for you. So it's, there's a lot of freedom implicit in everything in here. There are oh, so many people contributed to this that whose work I have admired and followed for years. There's Grace, there's uh, Christy Stonell Walker, there is the seamstress of Rohan, who is as connected in a way to Lizzie as I feel and who has retraced her steps and re recreated some wonderful images. And uh, just there's so much inspiration here. I know I'm just kind of gushing. Lizzie's poem, A Silent Wood, which I do believe is one of the ones that I have a video of, I'll have to see. But there's just ugh, a wonderful article about William Morris's Red House. There's a great deal in this that emphasizes the women's contributions to the pre raphaelite circle, which is very much how the emphasis has been, I think, the last few years. But it's there's a lot to catch up on, so if you think you're tired of it, if you think you've read everything, you might not have. Let's see, building a pre-Raphaelite medieval cottage garden in modern suburbia. Now this one I loved reading. I love reading about gardening. I'm not very good at gardening. It's one of those things that I just, you, know, you have to choose which things you take your time with. But so you, there's a lot in here that you maybe want to enjoy vicariously, which you can definitely do. There's a thing about the North Wind. It's all just, it's all very much a gathering of the inspirations that the Pre-Raphaelites had, as well as history and observations about their work itself. So now that I have gushed and recommended and explained a little bit about why this is a wonderful thing that I'm going to just, just I've spent the last week flipping through and reading every word of and gazing at the images of. It took me a week to get through and read all of it. Is, oh, Parish Relics. Look at that. Look at that jewelry. Is that I have, courtesy of the wonderful editors of this publication, an extra copy, shiny and new in its plastic wrapper for one of you. And this Sunday, April 5th, at 3 o'clock Central Time, I'm going to do a drawing right here live on YouTube and see who will be the lucky winner of not of this one, but of the pretty shiny new one wrapped in plastic still that I have not broken open, still sealed. 
And all you need to do is leave a comment on this video, why you love the Pre-Raphaelites, what you're doing to bring a little beauty into your life at this most interesting time, rather challenging time. Just make sure you include a way to contact you so that I can get a mailing address if I draw your name out. Ugh. What else? I, I, I want to like mention everything in here. There's these cakes that, oh my gosh, I don't even bake and I want to make. And there are recipes in here. Ugh. Yeah. You want this thing. Leave a comment. Win this thing. If you don't win this thing, go to their website. I'll leave put a link to that also in the description, enchantedlivingmag.com. They also have at the moment several of their best-selling past issues, which are out of print and not available in hard copy form, but they are available for free for your viewing pleasure right now on their website in their electronic form because we all need a little beauty right now. So come back this Sunday, three o'clock central time, Chicago time, and we'll see. And until next time, bye-bye.